Monday motivational madness. A crazy good way to start your week. Hola, you amazing artist. In this video, we're going to talk about something that sometimes causes people to unsubscribe from my channel because they assume that I am a hustle, hustle, hustle. I think that the hustle mentality is. You know, a lot of you guys know that recently I went through a stint of burnout. In fact, on my adventure channel, there is a 30 minute video that pretty much goes through the adventures that we had since we moved in that led to the burnout thing. So if any of you guys follow our adventure channel, that's gonna be dropping today, so you will be able to enjoy that. I'm going through a lot of our old unseen footage, uh, that things that I had posted on Patreon, and I ran across a video of a Monday Motivational Madness that actually covers the topic on what it was that I used to do back in the day to not get burned out. So I thought that I would share that with you guys because uh, it's, it's pretty brilliant. Welcome to your Monday Motivational Madness. <laughs> Rafi is finishing up writing. and I'm he going. Will, he, I'm get going. Up, come over here. It's I'm time coming. for Monday <sighs> Motivational Madness. Monday Motivational Madness. <laughs> A crazy good way to start your week. So my Monday Motivational Madness quote is, are you ready? <laughs> I choose a lazy person to do a hard job because a lazy person will find an easy way to do it. <laughs> Say that again. I choose a lazy person to do a hard job because a lazy person will find an easy way to do it. I actually love that. I love it too. So. I love that so much. Yeah. I know what you're thinking. There's the association when it comes to being lazy. Nobody wants to be called lazy. But imagine if you were able to flip that on its head and understand that being lazy might be considered a superpower. Yes, some people might call it efficient, uh, productive, uh, they'll have all kinds of words for it, but really when it comes down to it, the superpower there is cutting out all the fluff, cutting out all the work, because you know, you wanna do stuff and just make it easy on yourself. One thing that I know for sure, for sure, is with the amount of work that goes into art, any kind of art that you create, whether it is paintings or music or writing a book or anything that you create out there, a lot of work goes into that. Some of us pride ourselves in the minutia, the detail, the, all that stuff that takes a long time to do, and there's nothing wrong with that. However, when it comes down to other things like the running of the business and things like that, it is very important to be uh, lazy about it. Now, I'm not talking about procrastination. Procrastination is, is a totally different thing. Usually procrastination has to do with overwhelm, putting things off because eh, I don't feel like doing it, instead of figuring out a way, how can I consistently do this thing without it being such a pain in my arse? I can run myself around in circles and make myself tired and run myself ragged trying to figure out complex solutions for things. And I love this because it's kind of stupid simple. It is. You know? It is, I feel like that is actually more appropriate. A lot of people look at me and they think that I'm like super busy and stuff like that, but I do a lot of very simple tasks. Yeah. Because I'm all about efficiency and finding the easiest, laziest way to do it. That's why like I post across my social media and everybody's like, oh, you're so good at social media marketing. I just don't have enough time. And I'm like, it takes me three minutes to do all that stuff. Things like checking emails, checking your messages, uh, organizing your commissions. Right now we're putting a solo show together and honestly with this particular solo show a lot of times we take a couple months to prepare for it and things have been a little bit up in the air so literally we have uh, a, about two weeks to get our solo show up and running so that's gonna be a challenge but the only way to approach that challenge is to kind of, to be lazy about it, really. The more that I overthink things and the more complicated I make it, uh, the longer it takes me to do what I need to do when it's actually quite simple. It's it's just as, as <laughs> it's just as complicated as laying down and being lazy and reading a good book 
and just enjoying that book. When I'm there, things are flowing really, really good and really easy and really quickly. And when I get too overcomplicated of like, well, what are people going to think about this section if I do this? Then it gets all complicated because then I'm second guessing. So why overcomplicate it? I love it. I love that quote. So how do you approach your art career in a lazy, empowering manner? What I'll do usually is have more than one piece of canvas out and that way, if I have any leftover texture or leftover anything, then I, I get started on a new piece. I let myself either free flow on that piece or like let's say that it's a commission or something specific that I'm creating, then I think about how it is that I could incorporate whatever it is that I have left over from that first piece. As you see, I'm horrible at wasting materials. I mean, I, I, I basically just pour the thing out and use it uh, to the best of my abilities. But a lot of times I leave stuff. In fact, save this. Let's see if it, yeah, that's dried up. See, I just, I am horrible at wasting materials. Usually I have a Tupperware where I could seal this up with a little wet sponge for my acrylics and yeah. I don't know, I can't find any of my stuff. I choose a lazy person to do a hard job because a lazy person will find an easy way to do it. That's so good! Yeah, so Let's... look for the simplest way to accomplish the tasks at hand and don't stress out about it. Yeah, don't stress out. Don't stress out about feeling like you're lazy either because apparently yeah. being lazy is freaking awesome. Let's, it's what gets things done. Yeah, let's let's all be super lazy this week and get things done. <laughs> Accomplish our goals in the easiest of manner. Yeah. It's about approaching things from a place where instead of overthinking it, you are cutting out all the fluff, you're cutting out all the tediousness, you're figuring out like, how can I do this in a way where it is more efficient and just cuts out the fluff. Honestly, when it comes down to it, you wanna make time for the stuff that you really, really enjoy. When it comes down to the stuff that you don't enjoy, a lot of times it just has to do with your perspective, right? And think about it this way. Like if you're like dreading doing this thing and you've been avoiding doing this thing and then you finally get to doing the thing, it's not gonna be fun. So if you change your perspective on it and you prepave a different perspective, maybe you can make that thing fun. And from that place, you'll actually come up with a solution to make it a little bit less tedious. Now, there are some things that we have to do that maybe are not going to be fun at all and you can't find a different perspective. In those situations, you gotta ask yourself like, why am I doing this exactly? And really it always comes down to that motivation behind why you do what you do. There are a lot of times that I have to remind myself why it is that I create art, why it is that I put these videos out there, why it is that I do what I do. Because if I don't remind myself of why I do what I do, it's very easy for me to get very tedious in what I do by chasing an algorithm. And you guys know how I feel about chasing algorithms, likes, or any of that stuff. I give it the big middle finger. Anybody that tells you to chase an algorithm or do what's popular or any of that stuff, they could go eat a bag. At the end of the day, being lazy is a superpower. And despite the fact that people think that I'm not lazy, that is my goal. My goal is to be the laziest person out there, to basically be able to do a bunch of things without really it being a lot of work. Other people will call it working smarter. So if that's what it's called, then that's what it's called. Working smarter, not harder, essentially just means that you're lazy and that is something that I absolutely embrace. Now, there might be some of you out there that get triggered by the word lazy because, you know, maybe you were called lazy as a kid. Like, oh, you're such a little lazy, blah, blah, blah. Well, so what? It's time to rewrite that definition for yourself. Lazy is the new... Whatever it is that you want to rewrite it to, you go ahead and do that. And that's it, you guys. It's time for me to get back to doing what I'm doing. Have an amazing week. I absolutely adore you. And like I said, I'll be dropping the new adventure video on the Adventure Channel. So if you uh, subscribe to our Adventure Channel, expect that today. And I would love to know how you might have used laziness as a superpower in the past. Go ahead and leave that in the comments section below. And thank you so much for watching, you guys. You guys are absolutely freaking amazing. I totally adore you. And if you like this and you want to watch more like this, just go ahead and click right over here to subscribe. 
And that's it. Go forth and be lazy. Go forth and be lazy, you guys. I love you. We love you. Goodbye. Adios.